Barakim Habarim, welcome. This is Messianic Moment Ministries. I'm Stephen Brook, and you know who you are. On this 12th day of November in the year 2020, happy birthday, my buddy Jim. So, usually, <clears throat> I come up with messages, inspiration, whatever you want to call it, when I'm riding my bicycle and praying. Too often, though, I can't stop and add it to my calendar, and by the time I get home, I forget what it was. I don't know if that's because it wasn't really what God would want me to say or just a result of my age. Whatever. In any case, I have nothing on my calendar this morning except to make a blood donation at 11 o'clock. That and a whole lot of complaints about the Facebook postings I see, which reminds me how easily people can be manipulated. And why is that? Really, why is that? Why does it seem to be so easy to manipulate thousands, if not millions, of people? Joseph Goebbels did it to the German people. The Creel Committee under President Wilson, even before that, did it to Americans so we would enter World War I. And it seems that both the news and social media are now the means to get people to believe whatever propaganda the uh, powers that be want them to accept. Yeah, and maybe... That's the message for today. Here it is, folks. Don't believe anyone. And you can believe me when I tell you that. I saw a post just this morning about a secret government unit that identifies cybersecurity infractions, and it is being used to register and document all the voter fraud that is happening in the current U.S. election. It's already captured the use of a CIA program designed to manipulate voting results, which has been used in foreign elections, but is now being used in this current presidential election. And here's what I found interesting. I'm going to show you this picture in a second. Look at this picture. This is supposedly the room where all this is done, and all the computers are running Windows 8. So I have to wonder, how did anyone manage, first of all, to get a picture of such a top-secret unit and why is a top-of-the-line tech unit using an operating system that was replaced many years ago? The obvious answer is something ain't kosher about this. Maybe it's the picture. Maybe it's the whole story. But whether or not it is legit, I am taking it as nothing more than some fertilizer someone is trying to spread in order to grow their story. And you know what? It might all be true, but not for me. At least, not until it becomes public knowledge in a verifiable way. And the problem is that so many people will just buy into this immediately because it's what they want to hear. And that is how people can be manipulated. Tell them what they want to hear and they will buy into it ASAP. So when you listen, don't listen with your glands, but listen with your brains. And don't believe anything you hear, no matter how wonderful it sounds, or for that matter, how bad it sounds. Do your own research and realize that if you're going to do research on the Internet, <laughs> it's like trying to smell a rose which is hidden in the middle of a fertilizer factory. So be careful. <clears throat> Use discernment and believe only that which really seems to be believable. As the old saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. One last thing for you. The system of reviewing and thinking about what you see and hear is not just something that is good to do when listening to the news or on social media, but it is really important to develop this talent because we are warned about false messiahs and how many will be turned from the true faith by them. And those will be the people who want to hear only what they like and ignore what they don't like. <laughs> They are the ones who will tell you they love the Lord, but will be first in line to take the mark when it is offered. <laughs> and how can that happen? Well, it will happen because they will hear what they want to believe and not use discernment. When people do not think with their brains, but instead believe with their emotions, they are easily led astray. God has given you not just a brain, but through his Ruach HaKodesh, his Holy Spirit, you have the opportunity to call upon his divine discernment 
So, please, for your own sake, use it. Amen. Well, thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Go back to the website. Subscribe by hitting the little subscribe button. But also here, the, the icon here on YouTube that will help you subscribe to this YouTube channel because they are separate lists. Yeah, and <clears throat> check out my entire website if you haven't really looked it over. I always welcome discussion, so please don't be shy. And until next time, Lehitrot and Baruch Hashem.